Alright guys, how's it going? Today we're talking WWE 2K16 as XboxAchievements.com have just released the achievement list for the Xbox 360 version of the game. So let's dive straight in, take a look. We've got three universe mode achievements to start with. Mr. Money in the Bank, win Money in the Bank using a custom superstar, play 50 matches and win, and then win WrestleMania's main event as the Royal Rumble winner. Then general achievements, we've got watch out, successfully reverse a finisher, come back, successfully perform a comeback move, don't let your guard down, perform a catch finisher, so that confirms that they'll return this year. A winning combination, use a wake up taunt, land a finisher and then immediately pin your opponents. Excellent execution, attack everybody part at least once using the limb targeting system. So that's pretty simple, I think in past years we might have had to get them red. So that's just attacking any part of the body, so that should be pretty simple to do. We've got reach the ropes, crawl the ropes during submission. Oh my, put your opponent through the announce table via an OMG moments. A winner is you, win at least 20 matches on hard difficulty or higher in universe or exhibition. Over the ropes you go, eliminate 12 opponents with the same superstar in a single Royal Rumble match. Matchmaker, win in 20 match variations, so that's 20 different match types. Locker Room Rat, complete a match with 50 different superstars or divas. Unknown Veteran, win 10 times using a custom superstar. Tap tap tap, make an opponent tap out with a submission that is not a finisher or a signature move, so just any general move when you hold the X button. Then we've got Tragic Commentators, destroy two announce tables within a single match. So again, like we see in the screenshots, that confirms there'll be two announce tables at ringside in the actual year arenas at least. We've got one of a kind superstar, create a custom superstar that uses a superstar head, so that's back. The ring is my playground, play a match using a custom arena, so again, custom arenas back on last gen as it is this year on next gen. 100 bouts, play 100 matches online, so that's ranked matches, and at least you don't have to win those, so as long as you play 100, then it should still count, that should be pretty easy to do, it'll just take quite a while to actually get through them. Expert in the ring, play each different match type, so that's every single one. A creator is born, upload any kind of user created content once, so that actually confirms that community creations will be in the last gen version of the game, after that was left out the description, so there was kind of a few rumours that said maybe it wouldn't be in the game, but that right there, that confirms it will be. Then we've got some showcase related achievements, we've got Austin 316, complete the Austin 316 scenario, showcase master, complete all bonus matches, so again like in WWE 13 we've got a few different bonus matches with other superstars like Edge and Christian, so we'll probably get the same kind of thing this time and we've also got an achievement for completing those. We've got wrestling heritage, complete all objectives, so that one might take a while to do, there'll be some hard ones in there judging by this last one in the secret achievements. We've got don't trust anybody, complete all special objectives, and Stone Cold said so, unlock and view all video replays and images in the gallery. So that is all the main achievements, we've also got four secret achievements. First one is kind of a fantasy match, we've got the Phenom versus the Scorpion, so in WWE Universe, win a WrestleMania match between The Undertaker and Sting. So it doesn't actually say who you have to use to win it, it can't be anyone, so again it's just your personal preference. It'll be awesome to see if they actually go ahead and plan that match, because they've had a poll to see who they want Sting to take on next, and Undertaker absolutely dominated that poll, so if he does return for one more match, that has got to be it. Now this next one is something to really get excited about because this one, lightning reflexes, reverse a curb stomp with the RKO catch finisher. So just like we're seeing at Wrestlemania with Orton reversing the curb stomp in that RKO in what was an absolutely iconic moment, that is actually in the game this year. And you know, I wouldn't be surprised if you can actually reverse that in other catch finishers. So that'll be really, really cool to try out. Can't wait to try that one. Then the second and the last one, we've got Suplex City. So with Lesnar, execute German Suplex 4 or back Suplex 2 10 times in a single match. So that is just the regular move. We've also got Suplex City as the name of one of his signatures, but that doesn't count towards this. It just has to be those two regular moves. Finally, we've got What 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 in the 2K Showcase WrestleMania 19 scenario, get out of three pins during the last historical objective. So that one actually sounds pretty hard to do. It'll be hard to kick out three times, but I'm sure it'll be absolutely worth it. Guys, so that is all for the achievements. There is not too much, I guess, in terms of new information, aside from that reversal for the curb stomp, but that is absolutely awesome. I can't wait to try that. In regards to the next gen achievements, they usually come out around a week or two after the last gen versions, so we'll have to wait a little bit more for that. 
but in terms of what we'll actually see included in it, it's generally the same kind of achievements, although there will be things in there in regards to my career mode which isn't in last gen. And you know, it's actually kind of interesting to see these achievements and that there's no kind of extra mode in there alongside the showcase because last year we got Who's Got NXT, so it looks like this year on last gen it's purely going to be the showcase mode which is a little bit disappointing if you get in the game on last gen, but if you can, go for next gen because my career mode looks absolutely amazing and again it is exclusive to that version of the game. Anyway guys, that is it for this video, but let me know what you think of these achievements in the comments, and if you think you'll get 1000G, a perfect gamer score, I think you've got a damn good chance. So let me know your thoughts in the comments, and until next time, I'll catch you later.